Okay, can we start? Mm -hmm. Okay, we were, uh, yeah, we're back in the falls now. Yeah, this area was developed in 74 and 5 with uh, an EDA grant that Nambe got. And uh, <coughs> we spent approximately $75,000 to develop uh, and build this area to to uh, no sort of a modern day campground. And uh, there's f six shelters up there. Uh, there's three of them are about the same size. Two of them are big, and the other is uh, oh, kind of in between. Uh, they're all uh, made from adobe. Uh, this adobes are stabilized adobes and should withstand the weather pretty good. This is at the waterfalls. Uh, this area is known to most of the people as the Nambe Pueblo Waterfalls, and uh, uh, the area was developed in 75 and 70, 74 and 1975 through a grant that Nambe got from EDA. 75% uh, of the funds were initially allocated for developing this area, but then it was later decided to uh, spend the hundred thousand dollars which was a grant from EDA or the total amount at the falls to develop it. Uh, Twenty-five thousand dollars of the original grant was uh, going to be used for building a uh, or adding on to the community center at the Pueblo but uh, there uh, we got other means of uh, building a solar building now so uh, that's out of the question we thought we'd use the other 25 percent for the waterfalls. This is a mountain on the east side of the falls. In, uh, I guess in the Nambe language, it's called the Pochuping. Nambe uh, River flows right beneath the mountain here, and uh, the stream is flowing west. Uh, the Nambe stream is very clear. It originates in the high mountains in the Sangre de Cristos. It's about 25 miles from here to where it originates under the Santa Fe Baldy. And the crystal clear water is very nice and people enjoy it quite a bit. And it enhances the use of the area because of the live stream and the campground or picnic ground. Uh, fishing is <coughs> not very good here, but there is some rainbow trout and fishing is permitted. Uh, it's uh, sort of like any other used area. Uh, this is portions of the, this is a Nambe Valley, uh, right at the little spot on the left, lower left hand corner there is the waterfalls that we're talking about. And moving up here are, is the gorge where the Nambe waterfalls actually are. Uh, there's a uh, rock formation on the side there that uh, looks sort of like a serpent and uh, it's in the wall, in the rock wall there. This is part of the dam that was completed in 1976. Uh, Bureau of Reclamation built this dam. It's about a 7.5 million dollar project. It was uh, <coughs> It was built here. It took some special engineering because of fault lines and the geologic formation of the ground in the immediate area. Uh, been very unstable, I guess. They had to uh, design this very specially. It's about three quarter full now. This in what are we now? Last of September. And uh, I'm sure this area will enhance uh, irrigation and recreation. The area you see across there, that white area, is uh, cut material that was used for the dam. Uh, there was a uh, old pueblo right in there that uh, the Nambe's 
lived there a long time ago. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what year it was. I think it was around 1610 when this area was inhabited. And uh, some of it was covered up. And when the dam is filled up, well, it, it'll all be covered up. Over here to the lower left, where the dirt bank is, there was also some quibbles or some houses on that ridge. They were also uh, covered up. This is uh, getting back to Nambe Pueblo here, one of the old original homes on the east side of the Pueblo there. Uh, it's abandoned now, but I think the owners are beginning to fix it up again. You can see the new layers of adobes on top where they've uh, worked that. That's one of the newer homes in the background there. Where, uh, I think they were completed in about 1963 to, through uh, HUD funded uh, housing program. Uh, most of the homes around the Pueblo are abandoned because of the people kind of moving away from the Pueblo and building homes uh, uh, outside of the original plaza here. That's the old community hall there and the Kiva, of course. Uh, those logs are about 60 feet long and uh, they're at say about three feet in diameter that hold that Kiva up. There's four of them across there and then there's it's made of poles and other things inside but uh, those poles probably were brought down here from the mountains and the nearest poles or the nearest uh, house logs of that size are probably 10 miles away from here. So I imagine the people work pretty hard to bring those down. Uh, that's one of the old original homes again here at Napovo and the people are trying to restore these homes but uh, it's sort of a slow process. My grandmother used to live there where those two doors are. That house on the left is an arts and crafts building. They, uh, the people of Pueblo make pottery and jewelry and so forth and they sort of centralize their goods here and where and uh, they sell it out of this one place. Uh, usually around the 25th, usually around the 15th of September on, uh, the people of Nambe prepare for the annual feast day which is on October the 4th and uh, the Pueblo itself and the plaza is cleaned up during uh, or before the 4th and the women and children and men and everyone participate in this uh, cleanup. It's sometimes <coughs> also known as community work and which is a f probably a form of taxation to the people for uh, for living on the reservation and uh, Although uh, Nambe doesn't collect money for as a tax resource, but uh, it's paid maybe through work or, and labor and this sort of things. So every year about this time, it's uh, the pueblo is cleaned up and and sometimes in between also. But uh, here the women are using uh, brooms, which are uh, made from. Uh, bush that grows out here called a rabbit brush or Apache plume and uh, this uh, bush is cut down and it's used for sweeping the plaza. You can see some of the men in the background cutting wheat or hoeing it down. Then it's hauled out into the, some gully somewhere to prevent erosion and some of the weeds and other debris that's taken out of here is used for that. It's not a very pleasant job for the ladies because of the dust and dirt involved, but uh, it's sort of a once or twice a year thing and they don't mind it too much. Uh, the kiva again in the background. and October the 4th is usually a very nice time of the year. Usually the leaves and of the cottonwoods and the 
in the river which is only a couple tenths of a mile away from the pueblo turn to a golden yellow and and there are pleasant sight to see you can normally see the mountains on the west side of the the west face and slope of the sangre de cristos also which have a lot of poplars or aspens and uh, they also turn a nice yellow sometimes a reddish gold yellow and uh, it's really pretty fluttering in the wind you know in the breeze and around October the 4th normally if it's not raining and it normally doesn't rain uh, the days are crispy they're warm and it's a very pleasant time of the year I think it's one of the prettiest times of the year in this whole valley here around the first through the fourth or the fifth of October but that's when uh, that's what this is your preparation for the fourth here the church which was completed last year in uh, and dedicated on August the 6th uh, the San Francisco the Assisi Church uh, the, this is a third church that Nambe has had the first one was uh, torn down imagine during the rebellions and then the second one the the wall cracked so uh, it was unsafe to have it any longer and they tore it down also and this was built this took 17 years to build the uh, the interior is a modern day uh, style. The uh, Nambe people have participated in dances and the Nambe Falls ceremonial which is held on July the 4th or which has been held on July the 4th for the last 17 years. That's how long it took to make enough money to complete this church. The only thing that's not new there in this church is the bell. Uh, the bell has been here for ages you know probably since the first church but the rest is new and uh, we had pretty nice uh, dedication ceremonies last year uh, Nambe is working on a uh, plan to restore this old buildings here, or this old homes, and uh, I don't think it's it's still in the planning stage on which way to go and how to develop this uh, old homes or to restore them. Only I don't think they'll be made livable, but uh, the the outside will be restored. There used to be a row of homes right th at the center of the plaza and uh, they were also torn down uh, I'd say maybe 30 years ago and uh, they just fell and the roofs caved in and just weathered away uh, like I said earlier the people kind of moved away to their farms people have been farmers here at Nambe for a long time and ranchers and so they developed areas for agricultural uses and uh, that's where they moved out to from here and Nambe is fairly well scattered out throughout the valley and uh, or the people are rather and <coughs> it's not uh, too centralized but maybe 10 families leaving this in the Pueblo itself that row of building I was talking about started about where this lady is with a broom and work back this is a artist's concept of the new solar heated building that's going to be built here at Nam Bay the building that's there this is kind of a square rectangular rectangular one is an existing building 
and uh, up to about the third pole that's standing up. After the third pole, the rest is going to be new. You can see the solar panels behind the flagpole there on top. That's where the, the sun will hit those panels and that's how the heat is absorbed and that's how the building will be heated. And uh, we also started on this uh, about a couple of years ago and it's about probably 60% complete now. The, uh, <coughs> we hired a local architect to do this for us. This proposed recreation center, or uh, it's it's not outdoor recreation in a way it is probably outdoor recreation, but it's tennis, basketball, and uh, this type of recreation. What this will be, it won't be camping or uh, or picnicking or this or fishing type of recreation. It's strictly uh, probably a couple hour type of recreation. And uh, that building in the middle is an old day school. The day school was uh, built, oh, in the mid-30s. And uh, it's got this old Pueblo-style architectural. It's got Vegas, and uh, it's a very sound building. Walls are adobes. And uh, the building was a BIA building. It's going to be turned over to the tribe for uh, uh, to develop it for recreational purposes. And this is, uh, see they're planning a swimming pool and and dressing rooms and tennis courts and this sort of things. And it's gonna be a pretty good place for the people to kill a few hours after work or even during maybe. But uh, I think this will uh, probably keep some of the kids out of trouble too if they had something there. Uh, the place itself is only two acres, but uh, Nambe is planning on expanding either east or maybe south to accommodate all the things that are planned in the plan. So uh, in order to get all of that, we need to expand to the sides a little bit and, and uh, get some of that uh, land around it. Okay, this is back at the center now. Uh, the blocks that are here, this pumice blocks, will be used for interior walls only. The exterior walls are adobe, and uh, and uh, the adobes will probably well, this will take a, a coat of plaster and all that good stuff to keep the weather out. It's got a frame footing, a uh, pumice block footing. And uh, I think this building's about 300 or 3,000 square feet is what it has. And the windows there are double insulated and will be. The, uh, the solar panels will fit just above the top there. This is part of the interior walls again here you can see but uh, I think this building will have uh, oh, we'll have a classroom it will have uh, a library it'll have a small museum and they'll have uh, oh, several offices and uh, some of the, what Nambe wants to do is we'd like to get all the artifacts pottery and so forth that were dug up in the dam area and, put, and have our own museum and have it in here in this building. Uh, we kind of feel that uh, if it was taken from Nambe, maybe it ought to come back here so people can see it. And uh, I think uh, it'll, we'll have a safe place for keeping it. You know, it'll be under lock and key, and uh, it it won't uh, it won't disappear. So we'll have the same security as a museum would have if we can get some of the things back and I was assured that by the uh, 
anthropologists and the uh, people that did the digging were uh, that we would get some of the things back from them if we had a place to put it in and restore it. These are some of the things that Head Start kids play in. Uh, the Head Start building is also here, and some of the smaller children from Nambay participate in that. And uh, we have Nam uh, children from different uh, origins and different races going to school here. That old merry-go-round there is this probably as old as the old day school, the mid 30s. And uh, it used to be up there, and then we moved it down here so the kids can can go round and round in. This baseball court was built not long ago. It's uh, cracking up real bad. <clears throat> so, uh, but most of this stuff will be moved to the new recreational area if we get it. This is part of the day school again, in the old garage. Some of these old buildings like this one here probably will be converted to office buildings. Like the day school here, uh, some of the living, the living quarters have already been, are already been used for offices or have already been converted. And that's a classroom there. Uh, there used to be about 20 children from Nambe going to that school when I was there. And uh, used to be one th grade one through sixth and one teacher and she'd get to the first graders then to the second and third and so forth and uh, it was quite a thing I guess uh, she probably didn't sleep at night's nice word about the kids the kids used to give her a bad time you know you have that many grades and that many kids at one time but it's uh, it's in a, a bad state of need for repair uh, you can't see all the bad things here in this photo, but uh, you can, uh, if you check it closer, and uh, we'll probably get it repaired before before we do anything to it. trees there are probably, well, they are fairly old. They're uh, at least 30 years old. Well, they were put in there after the, uh, after the school was built. But the climate out in this part of the country is very dry and uh, if <coughs> plants, trees, and flora doesn't get enough moisture, well, uh, they just kind of tend to disappear, you know. There used to be some lilac bushes there along the sides, and after the school was abandoned or closed down, well, they, they kind of didn't take care of them, and they just dried up. <coughs> 